What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Um, in yesterday's episode, <clears throat> we opened a, a, about five or 600,000 coins worth of packs. We didn't really get that much back, which is fair enough, you know, it is what it is. And uh, I talked about how I wanted Zhao Felix. Uh, I don't know if I want Zhao Felix, but you know, that's where we're at. But anyway guys, if you're enjoying The Road to Glory, if you wouldn't mind dropping a thumbs up, it would be very much appreciated. If you're enjoying the content in general on the channel, feel free to subscribe to the channel. For me personally, this card looks brilliant, right? Uh, four star weak foot, five star skill moves, brilliant stats. And it would be very easy to just sell Neymar, get Zhao Felix in. It would kind of go against what we've been working towards over the last sort of three weeks. Oh my good lord. Okay, so... When Zhao Felix got released, Neymar crashed from a million coins to 900,000 coins. I expected Neymar's price to continually go down from this point onwards until Team of the Year. It just always happens, standard. When I went to bed last night, Neymar was still selling for 874,000 coins. He's now down another 100,000 coins. He's down to about 780,000 coins. That's crazy. That is a monster, monster reduction. Now, will he go below 600, 500k? Probably not for a long time. So we'll be able to get some coins back from him. Always no problem at all. But my, one of the things I wanted to do was like build into like a Neymar, hold him till team of the year, then sell him, then use those coins towards the team of the year. And listen, we're still working towards that. We made some mistakes with uh, investments and made some mistakes just in general. Um, but we're still building coins and we're going to get to that in a second. I now sit here and look at Jao Felix and think... I don't, I don't, well, last night I tried to like build a squad, try to think of some things. I don't want him right now. If Bruno Fernandes gets a player of the month card as well, maybe Fernandes and Jao Felix. But when I think about that, Jao Felix right now is coming in at quite a high price. He is 400k. Um, and so 400k for Jao Felix, let's say 800k for Bruno. That's 1.2 million between the two of them. That's now 1.2 million coins worth of players. That is, I just all coins in players I can't get back and I can use them until they're not worthy anymore. So the more I looked at the team that I had, the team that I'd have to build to get Jao Felix in, uh, the amount of coins and items it would have to put in, the less and less I, I, I felt like I wanted it because I don't want it. Um, we got the base icon upgrade as well. 600k for the base icon upgrade. Just not interested in that at all. Hyung Min Son, not interested in that at all. Um, Jonathan Bamba, not interested in him at all. And the icons, I'm not interested in them at all, right? So just generally not really. It's Sergio Aguero, not interested in him at all. They put the leagues tab back as well, which was nice of EA. Although there's not a lot in there, which is not nice of EA. Um, and before we get into the, the couple of comments that I've taken from yesterday's video, uh, with regards to objectives, I've just been playing a couple here and there at night for myself. So for Eredivisie, we've got 10 games done out of the 15 and 7 wins. So we need to win 3 out of 5. And for the EFL, I still need to win two out of five. I don't have a very good EFL team. That's going to be a struggle and a stress. But I will get these both polished off before Monday. Um, in terms of foot champs, I'm currently 3-0. and You're going to see some gameplay uh, in just a second. And we haven't started on Kingsley Coman yet. We will. But we haven't started on him uh, just yet. Squad battles. Oh, God. Okay, I'm not really interested in that, but okay. Um... So that's where we're at with the, with the objective. So yeah, with regards to the team, guys, um, this is the team that I'm using for the managerial masterpiece, of course. But with regards to our main team, yeah, it sucks that Neymar's lost, you know, like down in coins. But we got we got we we was talking on stream last night a lot about finding the balance between having fun and understanding that this is literally just a game. Does it make any difference to my life outside of FIFA that Neymar went down in coins? No. Does it make any difference in my life in FIFA that Neymar went down in coins? No. So we're not going to dwell on it. Um, I am really happy with this team. I would love Jao Felix. And we were talking about chemistry and how it's like, I, I, I don't think chemistry should be in the game. Oh, I need to get Jao Cancelo out now. We had a red card on Joe Gomez. Um, I don't think um, chemistry should be in the game. I would love to play with other players within this team. Um, but I just I get punished so much for chemistry for doing it. Uh, Diego Jota finally got his upgrade, which is nice. Obviously, four-star, five-star. Really clean dribbling now. Really nice physical. 
he will obviously link to Jao Felix. Like, we could just put him there at left forward, Jao Felix at striker. Yeah, we'd lose Kem on a lot of people, but that would be that, you know? But anyway, I looked I looked at all of that stuff and it, it wasn't the one. Um, so I've got two comments from yesterday's video, guys. The first one is from Christian. He says, damn, not so sure about Project Team of the Year now. I still see the logic behind it, but based off of this, I'd say it isn't worth it. If your luck's in, it's in, right? Absolutely. If your luck is in, it is in. For... That there, there is there is a case to be made, right? Let's say you have zero coins and 150k pack saved for team of the year, right? When team of the year comes, you can open that 50k pack and you either get lucky or not, right? If you open that 50k pack right now, even if you don't get lucky, you can still develop those 12 players that you get from now into more coins and more coins and more coins. So Obviously, the content creator in me wants to build and save packs to have a big pack opening for Team of the Year. And we're going to start that. We are going to restart it and I am going to save them. Um, I don't I like, I just, I just got, I just, I saw those packs. and I was like, wow, we're going to pack something. A team of the group stage was nice. We're not going to pack anything. Um, so yeah, I'm going to, once again, my, my aim, guys, is to play as many drafts as possible and this is why I want to clean off the objectives as well. To play as many drafts as possible, save the packs. And somebody in the comment section as well said, how is he going to make coins if he just keeps buying entries and saving packs? Obviously, trading will make me some coins back, but I'm only going to be saving 25k packs and higher. So any of the 15k packs, 7.5k packs, or 5k packs that I get from the draft, they'll be opened and I'll be able to sell those players on. And in fact, you will see me today um, get like do some gold pack method, right? The reason why gold pack method is on fire right now is because so many gold cards are at a fairly decent price, right? So you'll see it uh, in the video today. We we hit a huge player, like like in in today's well, a huge gold card. Like we we like the five k pack method, basically just brilliant, right? Um, so with this here, we get this guy who's about twelve hundred coins. Always the La Liga centre back selling for that. Uh, we get this Veltman guy, 800 on bid. We'll get 1,000 coins for him, which is nice. Um, that's uh, always nice. And then Silvestri here, not worth anything. We'll hold on to him for the time being as some contract. So if the white stadium seat paint sells, we'll, we'll, you know, we're close to break even. But you'll see the 5k pack method in a second um, in, in the video. So in terms of uh, project team of the year, Depending on who you are, what you do, how long you've got on FIFA and what you get out of FIFA, it might not be worth it to save packs. It might be worth it to open packs immediately, sell everything that you get out of the packs, use those coins to invest, develop those coins and, and improve in them. And in the name of like trading, investing and stuff, um, Brad said, said, have you ever thought about working with an actual investor and working with them on some investing videos on your channel? You've got gameplay and content smash, love the videos as always. So investing is something that I've personally got like I've got into every year in certain ways. Like last year, it was a lot of consumables investing. Uh, the year before, we did a lot of just club stock and just your generic buying things when they're not worth it and stuff. This year is the first year because of this new unassigned system. As as you can see on the screen there, we're winning 284, right? Because of this new unassigned system, um, I'm able to still open packs whilst being unassigned. Uh, it does have its drawbacks. We made a video on it last week, so go check out the video. It's on the Road to Glory channel. Go check that out on how to get more unassigned. Um, but it makes it a lot easier. And the thing with it is, the thing with investing is because people in the comment section are asked, what am I investing in? And I don't want to show you guys. And I, it's not because I don't want you to invest in it either. Uh, but if, if I bought somebody, like I, I know how to invest. I, you know, I don't need one of the investors to come on and be, be part of the video and explain how to invest. People don't want to learn how to invest. They want to be told exactly who to invest in and exactly when to sell them. And that just doesn't exist on FIFA. For example, I have 284 items that I've won. I have one, two, three, four players that I've invested in based on different theories about different things. Two of those players that I've invested in just because they seem to double in price around 6 p.m. content uh, for whatever SBCs come out. So uh, around 5.15 or so, I'll go and list those guys on the trade path for, for two times the price that I bought them. I only have 35 trade pass places right now. But eventually, you know, towards the back end of 6 p.m. today and uh, try and sell them. And obviously, if they're then a key player for an SBC, they might go up four or five times the amount of coins. So I make some good coins. And two players are players that I've bought that I'm just going to hold on to because they're kind of like players that I know will spike and hit like, let's say I buy them for seven or 800 coins. 
I know they will get to three or 4,000 coins as soon as they're needed in an SBC. So I'm kind of like using half, like I'm, I'm like investing half in players that I want to flip constantly on 6 p.m.s and investing half in players that I know will go up massively in price. The thing is, is people will say, what has he invested in? If I tell you what I've invested in, even if only 500 of you go and invest in that player, two things will happen. Number one, it will artificially inflate the price of the player, which means I'll be able to sell for a profit for the wrong reasons. Number two, it will mean that, that that player is no longer worthwhile investing in because too many people are investing in them or in him to the point where you can't make profit anymore. And so the only thing you can do is you can explain to people how and why investing works. And so to do that, I want to show you guys, uh, somebody yesterday said to me, and th these aren't the players that I invested in, so I'm uh, more, than, more than happy to show you guys on these two guys. Um, but somebody said to me yesterday, the um, Olympiacos centre-backs are good players to invest in. Now, this guy here, Cissé, currently 850 coins. And if you look at his graph, he is up and down and up and down. So you can buy him for 850 right now. You might have to wait for a little while before he goes up to 1500 coins, but he'll go up to 1500 coins, right? But more impressively, if you look at the hourly graph from yesterday, there was a fair few points. At 11 o'clock, he went up to 1400 coins, back down to 950. At 6 o'clock, he went up to 1900 coins. He's now back down to 900. This would be a good player to invest in. And now, you, I, as I say, I haven't invested in him. So you guys will see the problem. If you guys go and invest in him, you'll notice you can't get him for 850 anymore. And uh, Ruben Semedu, the same. He's currently 1,500 coins. And uh, he's actually a, a fair high right now, as high as he's ever been, which is, again, another reason why you shouldn't really invest in him at the moment. But if you once again look at his hourly graph from yesterday, he was 1,000 coins all throughout the day. And then, boom, at 6 o'clock, up to 2.5K. 7 o'clock, back down to 1,000 coins. 9 o'clock, up to 2.1K. If you buy 100 here and sell them there, buy 100 more here and sell them there, you've probably just got to made yourself like literally like 200, 300,000 coins profit, right? Just or maybe 200,000 coins profit. It's just so easy. All you have to do is go and find those particular players. Uh, who would be another good one? I don't even know who would be a good one, right? All, all I'll do, let's, let's do this, right? Let's go FIFA 21 players. Let's go versions. Um, let's, let's go for a UCL non-rare. Um, I'm literally just picking random stuff here. Let's go for left mids, left wings. And let's go and look at the cheapest current... Uh, UCL non-rare left mid. So we've got Conor Plianka at 1.9k. Right, all I'm doing now is just looking at this this card. So he was a thousand coins for the longest time. He's now up at 1.9k. I think because of the David Beckham SBC that's caused him to go up a, a fair bit. If we look at his hourly graph yesterday, 1.5 was his minimum. 2.1 was his maximum. So if you just buy him when he's around the 1.4, 1.5 mark, you could have sold him and made 600 coins a card. The day before, 1.3, 1.2 was his minimum. He spiked up at 1.7. Again, you got like 40% there. If you've got 100,000 coins and you're just investing Conor Pliankas at 1.2, sell them at 1.7, you make yourself 40,000 coins, give or take, right? It's a really, really easy method. And even if you look at his gold card, now his gold card right now is 500 coins. It doesn't take much. Well, there you go. Yesterday, it went up to 700 coins. It doesn't take much for a card like this to be valuable, right? Even to the point, you see this trade here, 650 and 500. That's really important because that's like... 30% increase. And if we look at yesterday, his lowest was 600, his highest was 900. That's 50% increase. So him at 500 right now, let's have a look on Thursday. There you go. Thursday at 6 p.m., he went up to 1,800 coins, right? This card at 500 coins is a great investment. I'm not going to invest in him because I've talked about him in this video. It's going to cause his price to go through the roof um, or at least go up to 800, 900 where you lose all that profit margin, right? But someone like this Conor Plianka at 500 coins is just a banging card to invest in because all it takes is one SBC that requires um, Ukrainian league players, Ukraine players, you know, that, that SBC that requires like minimum, like maximum three 78 rated or overall players that has a left mid and has low chemistry. He becomes popular. All it takes is for him to go up to 800 coins, right? If we go grab a Calculator... Calc if you have 100,000 coins, right? Let's say you have 100,000 coins. And you buy uh, buy Konoplyanka for 500 coins. You will get 200 Konoplyankas. If you sell him even for 800 coins, right? 
you make 160,000 coins. So all he has to do is move up from 500 coins to 800 coins, which he has done multiple times, even in just the last couple of days. He's gone up as high as 900 coins. Today alone, he went up to 650. So if you can get him at 500 and sell him at 650, in fact, let's, uh, let's go 200 times 650. You make 130,000 coins. You just make 30,000 coins just like that for buying him at 500 and selling him at 650. Now, of course, if we actually look at his, um, does it have his sales thing? Where do you get that? Does it not have it anymore? They only have it on like big players or something. They, they didn't, don't Footbin have this like market sales thing now where you can go and track like how every single player, yeah, see market sales. So there's no market sales history on him, which is sad. Because even if you buy him at 500 and then sell him at, um, sell him at, why, Mbappe's 1.1 million, wow. Sell him at um, 800 to lazy buyers. Every 100 that you sell, you're making 30,000 coins, right? Every 200 that you sell, you're making 60,000 coins, right? Um, obviously, then you've got to take off tax. But that you don't need some magic wand to make coins in this game. You literally just need to trade the margins as best as you can to make as much as possible. And so in the last few weeks, I've, I've kind of been looking at my coin balance and been a bit sad, all right? Now I've got 284 items here that I know, I know I will sell for at least 1,200 coins per item. That's 340,000 coins, right? Take away the uh, tax of uh, 17,000 coins, that's 300 and, what is that, 323,000 coins. Once we put that back onto my base amount here, we're up at almost 600,000 coins, plus all the stuff that we still got in the club from the packs yesterday, that Harry Kane, that Sergio Busquets and stuff. So we're almost up at 600,000 coins. If I sell everything for 1,200, now if we get a good SBC at six o'clock, maybe I sell it for 1,500, 1,800, 2,000, 2,500, maybe I go up to a million coins, who knows, right? But when, when I think about my coin balance, I think, man, I'm not doing that great. I keep saying I'm trading and making all these coins, but I don't see it. But what I've got to remember is, in the last two weeks, we started with 6,000 coins. Two weeks and two days ago, we had 6,000 coins. Since then, we've put Gattuso into our team from the Icon SBC. We put Kenny Dalglish into our team from the Icon SBC. We've put Ferland Mendy into our team from the upgrade packs that we, we spammed. We've put Aubameyang into our team and we packed another Hyung Min Son. On top of that, we purchased Neymar for a million coins or 995,000 coins. And now... If I sell everything that I've got, and let's say we just sell it for what we bought it for, and I go back to about 450, 500,000 coins, plus everything that we've got in the club that's tradable, right? Forget the untradables. Let's just look at the tradables. We have got Harry Kane. We have got Sergio Busquets. I've got probably pages. Yeah, there you go. Pages of informs now. We've got this Carrasco inform um, that I kept hold of because I, I thought maybe I'd, I would do the Jao Felix, but we have got pages of these informs right there's nine informs there thir 13 altogether informs we've got Kane we've got Thiago our oh, Busquets must have been untradeable was he yeah he must have been uh Ben Yedda a few other 83s and stuff and our 83s are coming back again we are basically in a position again now where actually we've got a stacked club again all of these players man all of these players where we went down to nothing during Black Friday now we've got all of these you know a stacked club again which is really nice and we've got the two icons, the Neymar, and all of these coins in just two weeks and two days. If you take the, let's ignore what's in the club and just take the value of the two icons, 1.2 million, the Neymar, 2.2 million, and the coins that I have at low end, that's 2.8 million. In two, point, two weeks and two days, I have gained around 2.8 million coins just, just off of those things alone. That is a monster trade-off. And what it comes down to, and I know I've been waffling on now for 20 minutes, you're going to get a long video today. What it comes down to once again is just not doing all of the dumb SBCs. Like, I haven't even done that David Beckham SBC. Do you know why I haven't, I haven't been doing league SBCs because it just gives untradeable packs back. I haven't done the David Beckham SBC because once again, the David Beckham SBC, although it gives a 45K pack back as the overall pack, and that does have me a little bit interested. Maybe I will do it. Um, but I look at that and I think it's 35k for a 45k pack and then four untradeable packs. An untradeable premium electrum, an untradeable gold players, an untradeable premium gold players, and an untradeable prime electrum. I can't, I, I struggle.
to find the value in four untradeable packs and the tradable packs to the point where I probably will do it. And in fact, I might do it now to almost just showcase what the problem is and why um, with this. So I'm going to go and do each segment one by one and uh, we'll, we'll go through it and I'll show you guys what I've had to kind of waste and how important it is to sometimes not even just do the basic SBCs. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, the uh, the first team we've got done is PSG. It's the most expensive. Um, according to Footbin, it's 11,000 coins. So whether or not these players are tradable or untradable, um, we're essentially putting in 11,000 coins worth of cards. Now, obviously, I have some untradable. Lecomte is about 1,000 coins. Um, we've got Ndong, who's about 800, 900 coins. Uh, Thomason, who's about 800 coins. Uh, Coates, who I think is actually like a like a 1.2, 1.3k kind of player at the moment. Maybe a thousand coins, but basically I could set like obviously I've got half untradables in here. Uh, this guy's tradable as well, and then we've got untradable, untradable, tradable Gabriel, untradable, untradable. Right. So if I just sold those tradable players instead, I would have about five thousand more coins in my bank, um, and I would still have six untradable cards in my club for something else. And this is why I'll show you guys why I kind of like explain to you my understanding of why I don't like what we've got going on here. No matter what we pack here, obviously I'd be delighted if we pack something massive. It would go down well. The problem is, as we don't even get boards there, the fact that this was a bad pack is almost a perfect example of why you shouldn't do it. If I could sell these players, brilliant. If this was a tradable pack, brilliant. I would be able to make some really good coins. David Neres... Maybe a 12, 1500 coins. Uh, Mole, who we actually just used, only 800 coins. Um, we've got Danny Rose, a fair bit. Griffo, he's one of those ones as well that bounces up and down. It, very easy for you to like um, buy him for like five, 600 coins, sell him for like eight, 900 coins. Another really good one. Um, this Rafael Toloy, about 1200, 1500 coins. But it would have been so much easier if this was tradable, because then the trade-off of putting in those 5,000 coins worth of tradable players, I would have made more than 5,000 coins back. And this is why I think um, this is where a lot of people's issues come with not understanding coin management and investing or, or, or just people just don't understand, I suppose, how I got so many coins and how I made so much over such a small amount of time without even really doing anything crazy investment wise or anything like that. Um, and that's exactly how. So I'm going to go and do AC Milan. In fact, I'm just going to I'm, I'm going to go finish all of them off. I'll just give you guys like a rough guide of what I spent, um, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So here we are. I've done the other two teams, and then we've got the Manchester United team here finished. Uh, with with regards to tradable players um, and the 5K that we could have sold the other one for, I could have sold all of the players that I've put into the SBC for about fifteen to eighteen thousand coins, and then of course I've put in a whole bunch of other untradable packs or untradable players. Now, of course, we are going to get the untradable players back, um, which is, of course, very nice. What do we sell here? You, wanna, you, you, see, you see this stuff here, guys? I'll show you guys, right? The stuff that didn't sell um, because it's important. You see how 950, 13, 950, 950, 700, well, not him, the Premier League players, 950, right? And then some consumables. Let me just show you what I was buying Premier League players for. And again, it's something that's so simple. So basic, so easy. Um, you can't really not make money. Grealish bought for 700. Mount bought for 650. Grealish bought for 850. Grealish bought for 700. Milner bought for 700. All it takes is for me to sell these players for like 900, like 900, 950. I'm, yeah, you're making 200 coins per card, right? You might be thinking 200 coins per card. Who cares? Well, I'm selling them to lazy buyers right now for a little bit of profit. If something comes out at six, makes some price go up, happy days. We make bank. Um, but anyway, so what we're looking for from this is obviously to A, replenish the untradables that we put into the SBC, but B, the fact that we lost out on 20, no, maybe 15 to 18,000 coins if we would have sold the players. And our rare player is this guy here, which is bad. And these guys, I mean, they're not bad bad they will come in handy somewhere else down the line but it's not what you want is it it's not what you want we do obviously if we can get someone of any note that would be ideal if we can get someone a, a big board an inform something like that it would be nice 
Uh, but yeah, for me, the way I made uh, so many coins, the, the way we developed this account up over the last few weeks is from not doing SBCs like this and instead selling the players. Now, don't get me wrong. I did sell a whole bunch of the players. Uh, we sold, um, of course, all of our AC Milan players. We sold loads of Bundesliga players. Everything that was worth anything uh, at the time, we sold and we got rid of it. It was, it was you know, happy days. We're not going to get a single board out of this. We do get another blue card there. Um, it's not one of the new cards. We get a PSG player and a Real Madrid player, which is quite interesting uh, since they're both required. And then last but not least, we get a 45k pack. Now, this one is tradable. Of course, if we pack anything out of this, brilliant. This is where we need to make back the 18,000 or so coins that we spent. Are we going to? No, we're not. It's just going to be 12. Well, I mean, we might, but it's just going to be 12 um fairly boring cards we get one ucl card which is nice he's worth uh, about 2000 coins then they're, they're minimum 2000 coins at the moment the ucls which is quite nice we get to ram and then a whole bunch of not a lot we get this guy but he's a bit posh he's a thousand coins that's okay Hennessy in there zahavi of course we already have in the club he probably doesn't even sell for anything and the uh, zaldua probably doesn't sell for anything but um that in a nutshell is why I don't. I've, I've been trying to like st stay away from so many SBCs, um, just be, just because of that, I suppose. And that is also a perfect example of why I really, really should stay away from this Jao Felix. Yes, we're making coins. We can make the coins back, but for me, I want to make sure this year because I said to myself I'd do it last year and the year before, and I never did. This year, I want to make sure I stay um, kind of like strict and and stay true to what I want to achieve and that what I want to achieve is making sure we have an unbelievable amount of coins and an unbelievable amount of packs for team of the year because i want to go into team of the year and purchase as many of the big players as possible and then just have the most fun that i can with the best players in the game so this is going to be my team for the next few weeks unless an outstanding sbc comes obviously if any arsenal sbcs come through Futmus and stuff like that happy days but i'm more than happy just playing for the players that are available in objectives grinding the draft, hitting champs as, as much as we can and going from there. But for now, guys, that's going to be it. Let's get into some gameplay for today. I'll be right back. Oh, wow. This guy's got Alessandrini and the three MLS players. That's an interesting team. King Kenny, baby, let's go. Everyone's like, get that, that those balls in the back of the net. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Alessandrini, let's go, baby. He's out. We want to know things you love to see. Hey, that was that was a controlled performance. A couple little cheeky 5k packs for the bands. I think that's a challenge in first owner. Yeah, it certainly is. Oh, rare gold. You love to see that. Not bored though. Rare golds are always nice. Better toot. Hey, dead eyes worth seven eight hundred. Better toot not worth much, so we'll hold on to him. Miguel Viloso, not worth much. We'll hold on to him. William. My main man's at least five fifty on bid. If we get like a fifteen hundred lazy buy, you love to see that. Contracts we can't sell. That doesn't sell. That will sell. Happy days on the dead eye. Do one more. Hey, Steven, thank you for becoming a supporter to the stream, man. I do much appreciate it. Reward yourself if you play all 30. Oh, rare gold. Oh, a board. Let's go. EA Sports. French. Striker. Oh, my God. It's Anthony Martial. <laughs> Can you believe it? Is he still worth over 100k? Hey, this is this is my new trading method. He's not. He's 50k. He's 50k. Ah, you lot of things you love to see. Things you love to see. All right. Hey, my new 5k pack trading method, guys. Get involved. <laughs> Get involved. I mean, he's no Ian Rush, right? He's no Ian Rush. But he he he, he does all right. He does all right, lads. Centre forward to striker card as well is legit. 
We'll take that. Oh, hold on. Let me hold on to that. Purple stadium seat paint. Get some peas for that as well. And we'll do another one. We'll do. We'll keep going until we don't get a rare gold player. All right. Oh, looks like we're going to have another one. Oh, it's a blue board. This might be like a 79 rate or something, but they're at least... England, that's a good start. Goalkeeper. And should... He's at least like 2k. Oh, and a counter centre mid as well. Oh, my good lord. Counter centre mids, I believe, are extinct, aren't they? Oh, they are. They're like 5k or like 4.5k. Banging value out of that pack. Is this still selling? Oh, my... Oof. No way. Oh, oh my... Oh, uh, hello? We'll hold on to him. He's on the on the low end. Tom Asson. We'll hold on to him as well for the time being. All right, we'll, we'll keep... We'll keep going. we we'll keep going. All right, no rare gold pack out of this. Or rare gold player, should I say. What do we get? Fulham Club Anthem. Best of City Stadium theme. Architect Mayor. Left wing to left mid's alright. 1400 on that. Healing doesn't sell. Fry. This guy might be alright. Nope, not yet. This guy's alright, isn't he? Yeah. Oh my days. Just peas on peas on peas. It's literally peas on peas on peas. We can't we can't stop. We can't stop. We're just making too many coins. Ian, thanks for the starts, pal. Yeah, I'm a land player out of that pack. What are we saying? All right, I think this is where it ends, boys. Marksman isn't worth anything. Fox's club nickname, and we will list it up, but I don't think it's worth anything. Cloud Maurice. We'll hold on to him for the time being. Billing. We'll hold on to him for the time being. He'll be this guy'll be alright. Yeah, maybe like fourteen hundred on him. And Alario. Oh, wait, actually, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's over a thousand. Well, he's like 800 coins. I thought he was over a thousand, but that's not bad, man. Can you pack pitch pans? I don't know. I don't know. Let's go. Right, another one. Last one. This is a big like, oh, no, rare gold. Hold on. Walk out. No. Nope. Board? No. Nope. Damn it. Right, that's, that's the last one. That's the last one. That is the last one. The finale. Yeah. Oh. Going to right mid's okay. Not great. Don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. Bob Parker. Aggie. Is Bradell worth anything? Nope. Hold on to him. See, now we've club stocked. Eventually, those players will be worth a little bit. And we may bank on the way there. When when all that stuff sells on a trade pile, we'll be uh we'll be big chilling. Let's see. Just from the, We had 395,000 coins at the start. We sold him already. So by the time everything else sells, let's even ignore Martial for a time being. Martial was the first thing we listed up as well. So let's take it at best case scenario. 950. What's that like? 23, 33, 37. Say that doesn't sell. 70, 84. 94, 10,000. Let's say that doesn't sell. 11,000, 12, 13,000. 14. About 15,000. That'll put us back up to like 382. So we'd only be about 13K short. And we put loads of stuff into the club. And we've got the Anthony Martial. That's, that's big peas, that is. That's nice. You love, you, love, you love to see that. All right, next game. We're up against... What? Now he's done one, two Icon SBCs and three Baby Icon packs. Is that right? No, because that Rivaldo is not the Baby Icon. He's got Kaka, Rivaldo. What? Like, what? You down for some Warzone? I think Nick wanted to play some Warzone tonight. We played a little bit last night. I guess you were in bed. It was late. It was like 1.30 for me anyway. Boys through with Bergs. Oh, I've let him in there. It's poor, poor from me. Let's go, Neymar. Let's go, Alessandrini, baby. There we go. 3 1. Nice counter attack. This guy is very, 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 very aggressive. Corner kick played in. 
Oh, almost. Same team, lads. Same, same, same team. Come on, Kenny. Oh, it's beautiful. You love to see it. You love to see it. Let's go. Hey, Gattuso has a little machine in there. Oh, you love it. Oh, you love it. You love it. It's fight. He's going to... <laughs> ten men. I had ten men. Ten men. Neymar with two. Dalglish with two. A goal and assi an assist each. Gattuso with the assist. Mole with a goal. Sorry, Alessandrini with a goal and assist. And Mole with an assist. Oh, you love to see it. You love to see it. Hey, this guy had icons all over the field, mate. I had ten men. I had ten men, you know what I mean? We're, hey, we're 2 and 0. He was, that's, that's me. I'm basically elite after that. All right, next up. 4 4 2. Martial, Bamiang, Dembele, Griezmann, Sissoko, Lucas. We've got that old Jesus Navas. Longley, not Shortley. Oh, no. Gaia, Carlos, and uh, Neto. That team is worth, genuinely, about 200k max. He's offside. And pass it to Neymar again. I have a real, real bad issue with that. I have a real bad issue with constantly getting the ball. Like, last year it wasn't so bad, and the year before it wasn't so bad. I think it was FIFA 19 where it was as horrendous as it is now. You know, it's, it's literally just like, if somebody's offside, no matter where you aim the pass, the ball will just lock on to them. Mate, Mendy gets into some great scoring positions. Fair play. But Mendy's there again, man. And Bellerin has high-low work rates as well, which is really weird. Bellerin stays so wide. That's his problem, man. Mendy, like, comes inside. Oh, Kenny. That's beautiful, that is. Oh, that's a good play. That's a nice finish, that is. Oh, King Kenny. There we go. 4 1. Should have scored with Kenny. He moved his keeper. I'll take the goal. That's a good play. Hey, he's got another goal back there. Yeah, this guy's all about that watching replays hype. Because they've run out of time, they have to, uh, they have to quit and just move on to the next one. How has he scored that? That's crazy. It's just a dumb, dumb prospect. It's a process that should... That's got to be a foul. A process that just shouldn't be in the game. That's outrageous, man. That is genuinely outrageous. It's a skill. No, it's not a skill. There's no skill in, like, covering an angle with your goalkeeper and the goalkeeper becoming, like, four times the size because you cover the angle. That's not a skill. It makes the shot accuracy, like, a lot weaker. It, it, it makes the, like, if the if moving the keeper, like, if you could still score when the keeper's moved, if you cho chose the right shot or the right shot power, I'd be totally okay with it. But the keeper, like, once you move him one step sidewards, he basically covers, like, an entire extra section of the goal that he shouldn't be able to cover. Let's go, Son. Come on. Now he quits. I don't know why he didn't quit at 4-1. Now he quits. Look at that. Eight saves for his Neto, guys. Eight saves. And it's because he moved him so much. And I know, like as I say, I know the 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 the, the thought process is oh, if he, just either learn to move your keeper to balance it or learn different shot types to counter it. But this is where it comes back to it's just illogical. It's just like in real life, if a goalkeeper moved that that far to that degree. It leaves them so exposed somewhere else that you just get an easy goal. But in FIFA, when you move them to that degree, it makes them like they might as well be big fat goalie. Do you know what I mean? They might as well just be the biggest, like blocking out 80% of the goal is ridiculous. But anyway, we got the win. That guy put up a valiant effort considering his team. We dominated the game, fair play, but I, I really shouldn't be struggling with that game. I, I really should be just putting that guy, guy away anyway. All right, guys, to end off today's road to glory, we are. Fortunately, 
um, through a couple of the big objectives. So uh, lots of players to collect and SBC to complete as well. Um, we didn't need the win on that one. We just needed the game. We got all the wins and that is now the EFL and um, Eredivisie Foundation objective players done. Graven Birch was a lot of fun to play with doing the Eredivisie one. Dak was not fun to play with. Uh, he, he, he missed a lot of easy chances um, and whatnot. But yeah, there you go. Playing time done. So we get the Squad Foundation Sinclair, uh, which is obviously very nice. Um, this is a pretty cool card. Obviously, a uh, four-star, four-star is nice. His dribbling is very nice. His stamina and strength are nice. With a dead-eye chem style, he could be a usable sub. And I, I might put him on the bench as well with that pace. Um, and then also, uh, you know, this king as well. I might I might just go and put these guys on the bench. You know, what's the point of playing for these if we're not even going to sub them on for some of the games? Um, so uh, he, he's nice. And again, a good chem style on him and he could be uh, super usable. And then we've also completed the um, the Eredivisie, as I said, sorry. Uh, so we've got the playing time, which gives us Borm Gartel. Now, he actually looks pretty legit. I just don't have anyone to link him to. Um, we don't really have too much, by the way, of Bundesliga. And he, he's he's this guy's nice, um, but we also don't have uh, we also don't have too many Germans. Now, what would be real sick is if EA allowed cards like this to link to each other. Imagine I could link that long card to that Baumgartel card just because they're the same card type. That would be amazing and would make squad building way more fun. But we get Van Bergen there as well. And again, this guy, I mean, the five star weak foot is nice. High low work rates is nice. Ninety eight stamina is nice. He's dribbling. He's got good agility and balance. You know, he's, he's he's not terrible. He's not terrible. I don't think they're quite as good as some of the other ones, but he's not terrible. And then in terms of milestones, guys, I don't have many more to go. We are one free kick away from completing that. We are nine co-op wins away from completing that. We need 145 more live foot friendlies to complete both of these. Um, we need to score in 72 more champs games and win another like 200 champs games. We need to win another 200 or so Rivals games. And then uh, Squad Battles, I don't know if I'll ever do that. I, I will eventually, but man, I don't like playing Squad Battles. Um, so that's where we're at with that. And then in terms of like SBCs for the day, guys, um, we have got, there's a there's a new daily SBC. It's for an untradeable pack. There's a new Oxlade Chamberlain that I'm not touching with a barge pole. And then there's Conquer the Pitch, which is three gold players, 60 chemistry, one Champions League common or rare. So what we'll start with is we'll start with one of our um, UCL rare untradeables. Giuliano can go in. Happy days. Um, that goes in there. And then we just need two more gold players. So we can put in a couple of uh, untradeable gold players in here. Do we have a Brazilian? Yeah, let's, do I want to put in Jonathan? Why not? Let's get some chemistry there to help with the chem. And then at left mid, we'll pop in Moy Gomez there. And then for the rest of it, we just need 60 chemistry and players from the same league, max five. So we could just go for uh, some bronze. Uh, do you know what? I don't even know if um, if I need to even care about chemistry all that much. So we've got Australian there. Chinese right back. Chinese centre back. Chinese centre back. There we go. That'd be the chemistry as good as done. Uh, Chinese left back as well. Uh, right mids. We go with an American at right centre mid. We've got another American. Yep, we'll go with another American. And then up, up front. I, I don't think we need to, to worry about it. So nice and easy there, guys. 76 chem. Obviously, it's for a jumbo goal pack untradeable. It's, it's not a desirable pack in any way. But it costs us three untradeable golds. And then, um, and then uh, you know, some bronzes. So we get the 75 plus rare rated player from one of the uh, milestone objectives. Would be nice if we could hit something nice out of this. It's not a walkout, it's not a board. It's not gonna be anything uh, of, of note um, for us really. It's a Rudy Az. And uh, last but not least, the Jumbo Gold Pack. Guys, if you enjoyed the content today, drop a thumbs up. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow for some more uh, Foot Champs action. And uh, we're gonna put some of the, uh, the new players on the bench. Might go through my tactics and formation and stuff tomorrow, guys. A lot of people ask me for what I play at the moment. So uh, maybe we'll show that for tomorrow. Um, we get a Buendia that we actually just used. Tammy Abraham and a Buendia. And the investments that I made for the 6pm setup, guys, uh, weren't the right ones. Not necessarily the wrong ones either. It's just that the daily SBC is mostly bronze players. Um, and uh, the Oxlade-Chamberlain SBC is for fodder. So I, like what I've invested in 
I'm going to start trying to farm off to lazy buyers. But in the meantime, we're just going to hang on to it. So that is going to be the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.